Aloha. I'm Generational Master Beekeeper Darren Olson. My family has kept honeybee hives since the 1400s in Norway. And I am passionate about saving not only the honeybees, but the wonderful plants that honeybees pollinate. I believe you vegans, you are correct. We have to stop destroying our environment. We have to protect honeybees and by doing so we also promote healthy plants that we deeply care about. What we do need to do though is support beekeepers like myself. Instead of selling honey that you're morally against, we do need because of state laws across America beekeepers to take care of honeybees. We cannot, for example, have honeybees living in trees anymore for safety for the people that live around them. We do need to keep honeybees in honeybee hives because of the diseases that are affecting them currently right now. We do need to help honeybees so that we can have a long list of products of fruits, vegetables, nuts, coffee, cotton, and a multitude of flowers that we want to continuously have commercially. There is a valuable aspect to honeybees, not just the honey that bees produce. Bees are the pollinators that we need. So my question is, if we want to have no kill, no harvest beehives, then we do have to find a way to successfully support the beekeepers who know best how to take care of honeybees. For example, it would then have to be a donation based, meaning somehow I need the working capital in order to take care of honeybees because I would continuously have more and more honeybee hives, which is a great thing. We do need to take care of bees if we want, for example, in Hawaii, the 400 plants that are going currently extinct because they don't have the pollinators. And beekeepers in general don't want to take their bees to these remote areas without the funding because there is little honey in some of these plants. There is little nectar and little commercial valuable resources, for example, for beekeepers to take up to those areas. Beekeepers in general get paid by making honey. If we wanted a new system of no kill, no harvest hives. That's what I'm appealing to you. My call to action is financially support beekeepers like myself who commit to a no kill, no harvest hive concept. In general, I need, <laughs> and I'm a poor speaker, but I'm a great master beekeeper. So I greatly appreciate your patience with me. I need subscribers to my YouTube channel. I need emails from supporters like you in order to get contributions, monetary capital in order to buy the honeybee hives, wood and other materials like suits, the honeybee suits so that I can have a no-kill, no-harvest hive successfully promoted. It takes work from you in capital, and what do you get back? You get back knowing that you've saved 400 species of plants on Oahu, for example, that need honeybees to pollinate them. That's what the return on investment is for you, for a no-kill, no-harvest hive. You get the crops pollinated that live, for example, 
on Oahu, and you also get to save species of plants that are currently endangered. And you get to protect honeybees, a very sentient superorganism that very much does no pain. Mahalo nui loa. Thank you very much.